will resume back on one of my previous series on MongoDB and Flutter. So this is going to be the last part of the series and we will look at how we can delete the data that we had previously stored in MongoDB using Flutter. So let's begin with the coding part. Now here I have uh, MongoDB Atlas open and we can see that in our collection we have nine entries. Right, so we will try to delete first a single entry using a delete keyword and then um, the package that we are using, which is um, Mongo Dart, we can use a method called delete many to delete many entries. Right, so let's get on with it. So if you have followed my previous three videos, you would have seen how I set up everything, how I connect to the DB and how I am inserting, updating, and printing the records, right? And this is the last part where, where we will look at deleting some entries. So I can clearly write like delete, and you can see it gives us a recommendation that, okay, this is the method that you want to use. So I will give delete one. And what I'll do here is, let's say I want to delete this entry, right? So I will give username, so the selector will be username and the username was MP, right? And once I wait for it, if I refresh this, okay, so I guess it would have deleted it. Let's refresh this. Yeah, and we don't have MP value anymore. Um, the reason it's showing 10 records is because whenever I refresh, it also runs this insert query. So let's uh, uh, comment out all of these for now. Right now, I have deleted one entry. What if I want to delete multiple entries in one go? So you can see there are some entries with same username, which is MP1. So what I can do here is after this, let me call await collection dot delete many um, and then i can select username as mp1 right and if i okay i don't have i have not used brackets here okay that's the issue now if i save this and let it run okay let's refresh this and we'll see all the MP1 entries are gone and we only have MP2 username entries. So yeah, these are the two basic ways how you can delete uh, something from MongoDB. And after completing this series, I'm planning to do a full end-to-end -end application like maybe a Airbnb clone or Amazon clone. Um, so this fundamental is important. That's why I created a small mini series on how we can connect our Flutter app at MongoDB, and then we can insert, update, delete, and um, retrieve entries from MongoDB. So that's all for this series. Hope you guys like this video. If so, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks everyone.